Hello guys, welcome back. I feel like I'm on a streak with my content, multiple videos a week, including shorts. I hope you're enjoying all of this freshness on my channel. So today, although I don't know what I'm titling this video, like exact words that I'll be using, but essentially I'm talking about kind of like my holy grail drugstore products that I bought again and again, or I have multiple shades. These are the products that I just keep buying, even though I have a ton of other makeup, I always go back to these. It's like if I'm in a pinch or I'm traveling and I'm out and about and I forgot something and the only thing I have is a CVS or Rite Aid, what am I gonna get? And it needs to be a product that I know I like, so these are the products. I purposefully didn't include some makeup brands like Jason Wood Beauty since you can only get that at Target or online, also Beauty Collection, like some of those brands because they're just not available at a CVS or a Rite Aid. I am specifically talking about you can get these at the drugstore in the US, so you will not be seeing any Asian brands, unfortunately. It's a full face of drugstore today so if you want to know my recommendations let's get into it so usually i would buy one primer then i move on to the next like i'm trying out something new why would i get another primer especially since primers tend to last me for a really long time since i don't wear them every single day but these the elf putty primers whether you get the original blue one or you get the nice cinnamide one has been such a holy grail for me this past year my skin has desperately needed it and it's been so good to me and when i don't use it i see a difference this is good for all skin types. I got this like little mini blue one. It's my last e.l.f. order. I'm gonna specifically use this when I go on vacation since I'm going on a few trips this year, which I'm really excited about. So I'm saving this one for all my trips. But what I've been using lately is the one with the nice and my It's tacky, it does well with all of my products. And it also just helps out if you have breakouts. This helps the foundation or like the concealer stick to it a lot better. I've just been a fan of this product since the very beginning. For all these categories, I only have one or two products, but I did that very specifically because I really want to think, what products do I keep buying again and again? For foundation, one of them is, you know, your true foundation. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant and Serum Foundation with sunscreen. I love this. I guess this is a rediscovery since I really didn't use this at all last year. And it's because someone commented on one of my shorts where I talked about this being my favorite drugstore foundation. And it really is. It is so beautiful, light to me in coverage. And in that shorts, I had really nice skin, meaning no breakouts as far as it being very clear. So I think I want to use this again since I haven't used it in a while. And then the other one, which you guys can probably name, is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. It might be a little too dark for me right now. Maybe just a little bit, not too bad. But look how beautiful that looks. And it doesn't feel heavy. At first, I wasn't going to mention this foundation because it's a little bit harder to find. I just did a quick Google search and you can still find them and they still have multiple shades. So that's good. See how it looks just on my cheeks and under my eyes. This to me could be a high-end foundation. I don't know if it's a dupe for something since I haven't tried too many high-end foundations. The way it looks and feels on the skin, I think it could be. You can still see my breakouts peeking through. This is not a full coverage foundation by any means. So I will have to go in with some concealer just to spot conceal, primarily the forehead, just a little bit over here. But overall, it looks so beautiful, natural looking. This is the type of finish I like to go for. I just overall love love the way this looks and it doesn't feel heavy at all. For concealers, we're gonna talk about two of them. This one is the matching one to the foundation, so it's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radium Concealer. So I tried this, I think, months later after I discovered that foundation just because I was like, oh, well, if that's a great foundation, maybe they have a really great concealer. This one, I think I'm gonna to have to use under my eyes just because it is lighter. It's creamy, easy to blend. Those are the main things that I look for in a concealer, and I want it to not feel dry. And the other concealer is the Physician formula butter glow concealer i have two shades since they don't have the perfect match for me all their shades are very limiting so i have light medium and medium i might have to mix the two of them because i think medium is just a little bit too dark for me oh let's see just a little bit too dark i think that'd be a better match for me in the summertime but then light medium is incredibly light and it's also it doesn't have the warm undertone that i'm looking for because i'm using this specifically for some breakouts i am going to mix the two together maybe i just need to put more more medium in it. But see how it just instantly covered all of that? And I'm just gonna blend the edges. This concealer was in my recent yearly favorites. And 
product is just so good. I just wish Physicians Formula would expand their shades. I'm loving how the base is looking. Like, this is what I go for. Light to medium coverage and just a little more coverage on certain areas. I was going to talk about an eyeshadow primer that I really love, but then I realized you can't get that at a drugstore like a CVS or a Rite Aid. So, unfortunately, I'm going to skip that. If you guys have a go-to eyeshadow primer that you love, definitely let me know down below. I think years ago, I tried the Milani one, which was pretty good, but I think the one from from Ulta Beauty is a little bit better. I'm skipping contour since I don't have a go-to one. I think drugstore brands need to work on the contour shades and having enough cooler to neutral shades because sometimes I find them to pull still a little bit too warm on me. So if you have a go-to one, definitely let me know in the comments below. So moving on to bronzer, talking about liquid bronzer, another physician's formula product. I love this, even though I only bought this once. It is so good and you only need to buy it once because there's so much product in this. This is the Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer. It only comes in one shade that I know of. I love how it makes my skin look. It just blends into the foundation and concealer so easily. So if you are more into the cream and liquid products, I highly recommend this one. If you're more into a powder bronzer, then Physicians Formula has what you're looking for. This is the Butter Dream Team palette, but you can get this as individuals. So I'm just going in with the their uh, butter bronzer. They come in actually multiple shades, which is really nice. I think this one is the original shade that they came out with. It's an oldie, but a goodie. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on, even though I already applied my bronzer on. I know the majority are not into powder products these days, but I still love this one so much. So I had to talk about it. For blushes, this was hard to choose. So let's talk about some newer blushes. I've talked about these quite a bit in my last few videos. The e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blushes, there are so many different shades. These blend so beautifully. Although for longevity, they're pretty good. I would still maybe want to pair it with something else. Like I wouldn't wear just this on its own, but I just love all the shades they have. They have such a variety and they're so easy to apply. You need so little. And then for powders, I love the Essence ones. Amazing, I have multiple colors. I have to get this other shade that one of you guys recommended it looks really beautiful. It's a mauve shade. This one is shimmery rose. And I have another one that is more vibrant in bold hearts. And then these, which I haven't talked about in a while. I did when I was first starting out on my channel, but the Burt's Bees blushes. I have Bare Peach and then I have this one. Uh, I don't have the name of it, but I'll have it um, down below. I'm going to go in with Bare Peach, which I'm going to have to get a new one. This was like the one that I would use all the time. And I just realized I didn't apply any setting powder. Whoops, this is not usually the order I go in, but that's okay. This is my go-to blush for years and I still love it. I heard peach blush is coming back in, which I've been wearing it all the time. I love it on warmer skin tones. I think they have a pink shade in that and maybe one other, not too many. They last a really long time and they make your cheeks look really pretty. Let's talk about the powder before I forget. I use this most days, which is why I've gone through probably a ton of them. I go through these pretty quickly. This is my go-to loose setting powder. Packaging wise, it's pretty slim. This is the e.l.f. HD loose setting powder, but I like the translucent one. They do have that light pink one that I've been recently talking about. They have a luminous one. And then they also have ones that are tinted. My preference is this one. I just prefer a translucent one. I have not much left, so this is all that I have left. So we're gonna make it work. And what I like about it is that it doesn't look heavy and it doesn't dry out my skin. I used to never have that problem, but it's been more of a newer thing for me. And now I understand for anyone who has dry skin, like, oh, I get it, I get it. I don't want my skin to look patchy. I used every last drop of it. I still need to powder just a little more. So I'm gonna go in with the luminous ones since I still have that one. For brow products, I'm more picky. So starting off with the gel ones, I think this one's a little bit harder to find. So if you could find it, great. I I think I ended up getting mine online. This one is the Physicians Formula Butter Brazilian Brow Lift Brow Gel. So if you like that laminate brow look, you want something to stay put, you get this one. Although these are really great as well. They have great longevity. And if you like that laminated brow look, this is the NYX, the brow glue in clear, and then the tinted one. I still think the clear one, the hold is just a little bit better. But both great options. And if you have darker features like me, this taupe is great because it's not warm. I'm gonna go in with the clear one since I haven't used it in a while. Is this my second tube? It might be. It has the perfect size brush. 
not too big what i like about both of these brow products is that i don't have to go back and forth and have all of these layers like you could just do this in one sweeping motion if you wanted to i have two brow pencils to recommend one of them i don't have it's the elf one the micro or the yeah i think it's a micro eyebrow pencil in neutral brown specifically i love that one i bought multiples i just can't find mine maybe i ran out of it i just haven't gotten it again but the other one is from maybelline this is the brow ultra slim in deep brown i like a pencil that is thin but the most important part is the color is it a good match and both of the ones that i mentioned are and i like how this has a spoolie on the side too i have learned that i don't really like waxy brow pencils i don't mind if it's a little bit dry but i don't like waxy the only eyeshadow palette that i would recommend is the elf bite size ones this is the i love you a latte i've used this quite a bit this last year these are the shades that i always like to wear as a base or even for like eyeliner this brown one is great too i like how it's compact fits in the palm of my hands perfect for traveling i don't think i'm gonna be wearing this today maybe i'll go in with the brown if i want to add a little more definition but the other two that i have i've talked about these in my yearly favorites these are the maybelline color tattoo they have great longevity you don't need an eyeshadow primer with them i love these i've worn this one recently because i just had to see how it looks this is the green one and i'm fierce but maybe i should do a look with this this is so pretty Maybe I'll do something on, on Instagram and then I'll also put on YouTube. But this one, do you guys remember this? This is what I'm gonna be wearing today. This is the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in Caramel. Do you remember these types of products? Just using your finger and just creating a really simple look that looks like you applied more effort than you actually did. I love these. People don't talk about these anymore. They're so easy to work with. You just can't go wrong with this cream eyeshadow. It's like the perfect one and done. And just a little bit of the darker brown where's the lash line for my liner it has to go to my la girl one this one is the retractable one in lasting brown i should get the black one i don't think i have yet surprisingly but i bought lasting brown multiple times i really like it. you don't have to worry about sharpening it it's great longevity doesn't smudge a really pretty shade of brown that's not too warm and when i'm in a pinch and i don't have a angled brush what i do is i'll use the side of this see how it's on an angle and then from there i just create my wing another maybelline product this is the sky high mascara in waterproof i think this is the brown one that i have i've tried i think almost all of them yeah this one is in brownish black mine might be a little old and dry so this might be the last time i'm wearing it today but I've gotten so many of them. So this is not the best representation of this mascara, but I highly recommend you go to my video where I talked about this if you really want to see how it looks. Just such a great job at keeping my lashes up after I've curled them and the brush isn't too big. Although the biggest adjustment with this was that the wand is flexible. I don't care for that. I wish it actually wouldn't move, but that's really the only negative. When I'm in a pinch, this is the mascara I can get because I can find it at every CVS, every Rite Aid. I never have a problem. And I like the waterproof one just a little bit more. For highlighters, I love the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is their champagne one. For a lot of people, this is their holy grail. So beautiful. I think this one I'm gonna apply on the nose. Then the other ones I recommend are the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Highlighters. They have a bunch of different shades i think today i'm gonna go in with the champagne one just to have it match with the essence one but it's in that little squeezy tube it can get a little messy i sometimes will just put it on my fingers like this and just dab it in like that so then i don't get too much product on my face last category are the lips let's talk about the lip liners this one i feel like another product that a lot of people love nyx slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on they come in a bunch of different colors they're really easy to sharpen that's really important to me and then the other one that i have which i think i want to wear today it's the elf one it's their new lip liner it's the cream glide lip liner i have it in baddest beige this is the only one that i have from them since they didn't have too many in stock when i bought this but i've been wearing this quite a bit ever since i got it this is a very creamy lip liner so it's not hard i do think the next one has better longevity as far as eating and drinking and then to go over that we've got a lip oil this one is from milani this is their fruit fetish lip oil this is one of the newer shades that i have in honey fig i love the cherry one i have the strawberry one these smell so good one of my favorite lip oils from the drugstore and then as far as lip glosses these are the maybelline 
Maybelline Lifter Glosses. So I somehow got the same shade. I wanted to get a new shade and I couldn't remember the ones that I already had. So I ended up getting another amber. So this is a go-to shade of mine that I get quite a bit. Amber doesn't have any shimmer. This one does. It's crystal. It's the more bronzy one, but I've owned so many different shades from these. They're so good. They make your lips juicy. And they recently launched this one. It's their plum, right? What is it? Plum? It has chili pepper maxi lip. I've only tried this once and man, was it like spicy. Even too much for me. Just the sensation of it was just a little too much for me, but I was really intrigued because look how pretty that is. Although I wish I had more pigment. I think I'll try this again when I'm not filming. This is pretty plumping. So if you don't mind that, then you should definitely check these out. I'll have this link down below as well. I don't have a setting spray that I have in mind. I don't know why I'm blanking. Like I don't have something currently. So if you guys have a go-to drugstore setting spray, like holy grail status, also let me know down below because I need to check it out. I know you guys love my drugstore video, so hopefully this video was helpful. If you did like it, make sure to thumbs it up, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.